What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 10 of Ult Nikki, the one defense ultimate Iron Man. Now, I'm not going to waste any time. Uh, going to go over a few goals for the episode, which are to complete 900 easy clues, definitely complete 400 medium clues, get that clueless clue scroll, and hopefully get some more boots along the way, the ones we need, the holy sandals and the wizard boots. Other than that, really want to complete some of the easy clues sets and any other uniques we can get, like flare trousers, maybe get some monk G. Uh, anything else like that. Other than that, one really big goal that I want to do for this episode is get a glory for my house. So that's something I'm definitely going to try and focus on while we're getting clue scrolls. So definitely going to be hopping around, getting some dragon implants. The last goal, which we will hopefully passively get while going for the glory, is dragon bones for prayer XP. I'm going to be questing it to 43 for now, and later down the road when I do swan song, that'll get me to 45, which is where I want to cap my prayer. So with that being said guys, let's get right into the episode, I hope you all enjoy. Along with a few levels and new clue items that you saw, uh, we built this limestone altar because this gives 175% prayer XP per bone, which is obviously not as good as a gilded altar, but it's definitely bit better than just burying the bones themselves. So with all these bones we got, we got ourselves to 38 prayer here, and then we only have about 6k XP left that we need, and then we can quest the rest of our prayer XP. One more bone drop from Dragon Imps, we're good. There is 46 farming. I uh, I don't record all these levels, but I uh, been doing some bird or not birdhouse runs. I've been doing some uh, farming contracts whenever I have a medium clue step where I have to go into the farming guild, and I got a bunch of orange tree seeds. So I'll probably get to 47 actually. So I planted them in a few different patches. Yeah, I won't be recording all of the farming levels, but I'm like, hey, why not? Oh, another master scroll book. That's like one in 23 when you hit the the scroll table. Is that thing actually like 50k? Ooh, purple elegant blouse. I don't think I have the skirt, but I think that is a new item actually. Yeah, I got the uh, purple elegant shirt, so. Yeah, this thing's actually like 45k. They were like 3k or something, so. Wonder why they went up so much. So I actually just looked on the wiki since it was 45k, I was like, why is it that much? Because it's pretty useless, because all it does is hold teleports. Uh, turns out you can turn this into Watson and he will give you 10 to 20 teleport scrolls and those I can actually store in the book here so uh, I think that's kind of cool and it's another teleport to Zaya if I need it so I'm gonna go do that um, eventually once I go towards Zaya for a clue step so that's something I thought was really cool here we go blue elegant blouse what the hell <laughs> what I don't even, I don't, I don't know if that's new or not. That's weird. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I've <laughs> had that before. Exchange the book for teleport scrolls. Yep, boom. Nice, 18 Watson teleports. That's really awesome. So I guess it just teleports you right, I'd say it's pretty close to the center, if you want, of like Husidius, uh, Shazian, and the heart of Karen. So kind of a cool teleport. I might as well trade it in because I never know when I'll use it. All right, Father Jean. Oh my god, yes. Huh. Uh, I am very happy with this. It is well overdue because instead of tea chaps and looting bags, so now I'm going to clear out three spots in here. Like, I swear, the easy clue uniques are just so far and few, it feels like. It's just so nice to get something out of the way, man. That is awesome. All right, so we've now suicided, and we've got our white elegant and our studded tea here. Glad I waited to do this, so... Boom and boom, man, that is nice. All right, so let's show you guys the looting bag now. This is what we're looking at. I mean, look at this. Two myth sets and the last Addy set. One more piece for each of those and we're done. Same with the Iron T set. Oh, man, it's just like I'm so close I can like taste it. But hopefully we will at least complete another couple of these, if not all of them, really, really soon. This should be 47 farming. Yeah, 47. Oh, watermelons. It's actually sick. You get a, uh, quite a few seeds from these eclectics, so I'll uh, I'll hold on to those as I collect them and plant them around because those are uh, pretty good for XP. Ooh, that's a unique white unicorn mask. Literally the first one of those I've gotten. Ah, pretty beast, pretty beast. And I can store it too. That's the best part. All right, and you go. I'll get your brother next clue, hopefully. There's level 49 range while trying to get the desert camp key. I think it's just a metal key for uh, that clue step. And we got a lucky impling on Hilo there. As you see, we got a Zami page one. Definitely one of the better rewards I've gotten. 
200k, definitely ain't too bad. Uh, there we go. Easy clue, 821. Armadillo rope top. Addy H1 shield and a red boater for medium clue, 323. Which is really awesome. And this boater is a new one. That actually is our first vestment robe top that I'm going to put in my bag since I have some space. And we only have the white boater left. So I really like getting anything that's white from these clues because it's uh, good with the fashion scape since I have the white ultimate Iron Man helmet. Easy clue 828. We have a great reward. The golden apron. Not that high in value to be honest, but I mean for an easy clue you can't really complain. This is my first one I've gotten so as you see I was really excited to get this. And now I have the wooden shield G. The Golden Chef's Hat and the Golden Apron. Also here, Addy Plate Body H3 and a Myth G Plate Body. So, what's good about this Golden Apron is we can put it right in the house. All right, I gotta leave for work, so we gotta open these up. And a Steel Plate Body T. Oh, that's that one hurts a little. That one definitely hurts a little, cause I could have used a Steel G Plate Body. No. All right. Yes. All right. This could be the glories, guys. Ugh, six snapdragon seeds. I'm pretty sure now I'm officially at the drop rate for the glory. Five dragons and fifth. Oh no, I'm one over now. That's unfortunate, but six snapdragon seeds are nice because I can uh, can drop them over since I can't even plant them yet. Here we go, another two mediums stacked up. There's an easy for a bandos page. This is trash. What about these Mechi? God damn it, I need the kite shield. Ah, not the full helm. That. I don't know, that probably isn't new to be honest. Let's just open this other one. Uh, ooh, Zami Miter and an Unholy Blessing. And to be honest, this might be new. I'm gonna go check the collection log. Medium, and yes, that Zami Miter is new, so that is pretty cool. So the next easy clue unique didn't take near as long as I thought it would. The easy 845, we get the rainbow, which is a really cool item. I uh, love how it looks, so super happy to get this one. Only about 180k though, but the unique's are unique and I can store it so I can't complain. So anytime I get a hard clue, I definitely try and do it because the thought of getting a Robin Hood hat or even like trim blue dehyde chaps or red dehyde would be really awesome, especially the Robin Hood. So anytime I suicide, I suicide twice because I can take all the teleport scrolls out of my master scroll book and I can have those just stay on the ground too. Other than that, we've just got some other uh, new uniques here. Nothing too crazy, but we did complete the Addy Bucket Helm collection, which is really cool. There is 71 magic and 52 combat, also coming in with a couple new uniques, a highwayman mask on easy clue 866, and then we've got a black leprechaun hat on medium clue 831. Now this next clue, we got a guthix robe top, which it's a good looking clue, but nonetheless, uh, it's a new slot in the collection log. Fuck off, man. Like, it, it's not even funny anymore how unlucky I am on these Iron G and Steel G pieces. Well, I'd say usually this kind of level will just sneak up on me, but uh, 83 to 84 Hunter all through Eclectic Implings at Puro Puro. So that level actually unlocks Bare Handed Ninja Implings, which is pretty nice. And yeah, man, it has, uh, it's been a lot of Implings. Let's go ahead and check our totals. Uh, let's see, 17,400 almost, so no way. Yes, 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 yes. No way, that was so lucky. I just hopped in because I had to hop out. Glories, please. No, I think that's a lot of money still, but 800k. I mean, at least I can drop that. Guys, we are going to be two clues away from 400, and these rewards are just atrocious. They are just not getting any better, as you see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack up two medium caskets, and I'm going to sc stack up 11 easy caskets, and... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll wrap it up there. We got level 81 Thieving coming in here. Now all these levels are literally just from pickpocketing hand members. And we found another D-Imp and got 73 Dragon Bones, which actually ended up getting us the rest of the Prayer XP we needed. So after I used these, uh, all I have to do is now quest my prayer. So we'll quest it up to 43 for now before doing Swan Song later down the road. So that's really nice to have out of the way. Boys and girls, the time has come. I have my last two medium caskets for 400 and I have 11 easy caskets. So this is gonna make 900 easy clues and this is gonna make 400 medium clues. So let's get right into it. I'm just gonna open up the easy ones first. 11 of these to go through. Uh, let's see, not gonna take too much time. Some teleports there, all right, not bad. Eight left, all right, still nothing. I'm not gonna bother alking anything. 
Uh, oh, man. Come on. At least uh, one unique. Ooh, that might be new. I don't know. We'll find out in a second here. <gasps> Studded G body. Yes, dude. Yes. I can store that set now. Oh, my God. Finally, man. That's amazing already. I I'll take that. That is amazing. Black Kite T. already have that. Three more to go, guys. All right. Nothing there. Two. Zami robe top iron G legs oh, man. Why the iron G legs? Oh, that sucks, but uh All right Zami robe top. I'm pretty sure that's new and one left for 900 easy clues guys So there is that not the two special in the 900th. Okay guys. I I can't wait man I, I can't wait. I'm just gonna leave this in here for now. Uh, this is new so I'm going to switch that up for the Arminal Robe Top. So we have Zami Miter Cloak and the Robe Top, which is going to be awesome. So let's do it, guys. We got two clues left. Wizard Boots, Holy Sandals, and um, if I can get any of these Kite Shields to complete these sets, I'll be very happy. So there's one. Nothing out of that. And here we go, guys. Number 400. No way. No way. No. Dude, there's actually no way. <laughs> no way, man. What a way to end. What a way to end, man. No way. And the clueless scroll, man. What? No way. Oh my god. Unbelievable, man. I can't even believe that. That's a duplicate pair. Wow. Could have been the Wizzy Boots, man. Wow. That That is the cleanest way to end a grind I think I could have possibly imagined if it wasn't going to be the Wizard Boots or the Holy Sandals, so... Wow. Anyways, let's go and put this clue scroll in the house for now. And these, <laughs> uh, these, I guess I'm going to have to drop over. All right, guys, after all this time, we finally have another easy set in the house. All right, guys, I'm now back with the butterfly net. So let's check our total implings caught during this grind. So outside, uh, nothing too special except for the dragon ones, which I have eight. And then for the dragon, we have 28 total, no glory, but... A little over 18,000 eclectics, 600 natures, 300 magpies, almost 70 ninjas, 69. Ah, wow. Yeah, so 18,000 eclectics, and this has included a ton of clues that I've had to drop. So we'll do the average and see how many clues that we probably got from this. So on average, I got about 726 clues, and we were able to complete 400. So we dropped probably about, I'd say, what, 45, 40% of them. So not terrible, but definitely uh, definitely can get annoying. Now, the part that I think most of us have been waiting for, the collection log. Um, the easy ones, I don't have like everything filled in because I started the easy grind before this even came out. But we'll go ahead and check out the easies and see where we're at. So uh, 96 out of 131, man, in the medium. 85 out of 115, 400 completed. Ah, oh, the two ranger boots, climbing boots, G, the manacles, wow. Still getting really unlucky with these kite shields here. Uh, I think that's the pretty much the notable thing that I really need to clear out a lot of space in my looting bag, but uh, no wizard boots or the holy sandals. Like, it's so crazy, that last clue. I mean, I, I can't even believe it. And then uh, there's 900 easies right there for pretty trash reward, but yeah, guys, um, got a lot of guthic smiters. Uh, definitely still missing a couple, surprisingly. Uh, boaters, we need the white one left. Uh, definitely need a few headbands still, actually. Addy Kane, Black Unicorn Mask. Uh, some Elegant, which is actually twice as rare as a lot of the other stuff here, so... I'm not too crazy about many of the uniques from the medium rewards, but... Man, two Ranger Boots, I mean, that's, that's just crazy, honestly. Yeah, um, these are the stats, too. You know, I got some D-Bones from d and got myself to 39 Prayer. The rest of this, I'm going to quest to 45. So, got up to 81 Thieving, 84 Hunter, 1150 total as well. Did a little bit of farming along the way as I went to the Farming Guild. Um, construction, I have actually almost 70 Construction and Planks right here, so... 
I'll be sure to be using those. So let's actually go through the treasure chest and just look at the easy rewards so you guys have a better idea of what I do and do not have completed since the collection log isn't correct. So black H4 shield we're missing and then we have the fur trim studded leather and the gold trim studded leather. Finally those are complete. Really happy to see those in the bag. Um, I have the black trimmed armors, the blue wizard robe, highway mask, still need a blue barrette. Uh, got pretty unlucky with that. All the black hair helms complete. Pantaloons, uh, Amy of Magic T. Really wish I would have gotten these. I feel like I got kind of unlucky on those. Uh, we have all the Bob the Cat shirts. Um, I think all the Elegant, actually, from uh, Easy Clues. Wow, I didn't even realize that. Beret Mask, uh, this really isn't anything too important. You have to unlock a quest on Harmony Island. I think after Rum Deal, maybe you can do this. So um, I actually could have kept a Black Beret and then eventually finished this, but... It's not a part of the easy rewards. I don't even know why it's in here, to be honest. Uh, both the bronze armors, obviously, no RNG or T, which is unfortunate. You would think after 900 easy clues, I would have gotten at least a plate body or something for Fashionscape. Um, Steel T, definitely had that completed a long time ago. Steel G, no. Beanie Hat, Red Beret, Ant Mask, Goblin Mask. I mean, you can see it here. Both the Black Wizzy sets. Large Spade, Wooden Shield, Gold, Chef's Hat, Apron. No Monk G, no Cape of Skulls, unfortunately, but I probably would have gotten this had I started this when uh, this was released. Uh, we did get the Ami of Power T Rainbow, the Ham Joint, no leather pieces, which is really unfortunate. And I actually didn't even realize you could store these separately, so if I could get the Leather Body G just for training, range, and stuff during Slayer, that would be really sick, honestly. Now we go to more Staff of, the, Staff of Bob the Cat, and that'd be kind of cool to get, but unfortunately we don't have that. Black H2 plate body is the only one, so that's what the easy treasure chest is looking like. And other than that, here are the uh, major or notable spoils. Two ranger boots, manacles, climbing boots, G. I mean, if this would have been wizard boots, that would have been absolutely insane. Um, I probably would have stopped the grind, <laughs> which leads me to my next thing, which is I'm not stopping at 400 mediums. I'm going to keep going until I get at least wizard boots or... I really just want to finish these sets because it's like I'm so close at this point I might as well keep going just to finish them off and try and just clear some space in my looting bag and have them stored in the house I would hate to drop them because it just feels like such a waste and honestly I still really want wizard boots and I really want the holy sandals so we're gonna keep going forward all right so now we have to do some proper flexing here uh, with the iron ultimate Iron Man helmet and yeah, guys, this is uh, this has honestly been a pretty crazy grind. I'm just so happy to have this done. Uh, it feels so good, and I it, it's it's not done. That's the craziest part is it's not done. We just hit 400, and look at that, man. This is so cool. I don't even have this on Hilo, which is my uh, main my my main pure, you could say. So this is uh, this is so wild, man. This is such an accomplishment for me. Um, Super happy I got this done and I was able to stick to the goal and yeah, just get it done. Honestly feels really good. So thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you so much for being a part of this amazing adventure that we've had. And I'll see you guys in the next video.